Mr. Wayne. Welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Uh, Harvey? Uh, back here, Bruce. Uh, take a seat. I'll be right out. Oh, come on, not today. Stop, stop, stop. It has to stop. I uh, never got a chance to congratulate you. It was quite the acceptance speech. Oh, yeah, thanks. Now, I know you weren't thrilled about me getting back out there so soon. So I'm glad I didn't listen to you. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, you know, Bruce, I've been looking forward to this my entire career. The day Harvey Dent takes his official portrait as mayor of Gotham. And he looks like this. Glad you survived the trip up here, Bruce. You want to tell me what's going on? I didn't keep you waiting that long, did I? I have reason to believe you're being watched. You sound paranoid, Bruce. The children of Arkham are hacking into the GCPD. They're likely keeping tabs on you, too. Those children of Arkham jumped me. God, it's only getting worse. It's out of control. I can't stop it. This can't continue. What are you gonna do to stop it? Not enough. Never enough. Harvey Dent does everything by the book, to the letter of the law. But that isn't working. Sure it is. He's turning things around. Barely. Slowly. I'd like to see you do better. Watch me. Now are you gonna fix this mess? Simple. Easy. Curfews after dark. Checkpoints in- You're doing fine, Harv. Don't- None of us are doing fine! Sorry. Sorry about that, Bruce. I guess I got a little lost there. I'm probably not getting enough sleep these days. The stress. It's just the stress. Look, we're both under a lot of stress right now. We, we should be able to lean on each other. Stronger together, right? It's the only way. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. Your secret's safe with me, Harvey. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. Interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Last time we talked, I gave her a pretty valuable tip. Sergeant Montoya's name. Though after this interview, I'm sure the police will become suspicious of all of Miss Vale's sources. And if they find out you leaked Montoya's name... True. We need to be careful. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. What is this? Hello? I think you know exactly who this is. Batman. Investigative journalism suits you. 
I, I like to think so. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. <sighs> Fine. Will you talk now? Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one write anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. It's all out there. Clear as day. You gave them a platform to promote themselves. You're helping them get what they want. What they want is an end to corruption. Something I've heard you claim to support as well. Unless that's all just a rumor. Where did meeting are confidential? Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way, he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. No investigation. Bruce Wayne is innocent. He's not responsible for what his father did. Maybe not, but he still benefits from it. All those people suffered so that he could prosper up in that mansion of his. I don't know if you have some connection with him maybe there's more to this story than i realize but you can't ignore the facts whether he intended to or not his family has been stealing from innocent people for years so what are you going to do about it what is batman doing to protect them from bruce wayne the people want to know there are bigger threats to gotham out there the children of Arkham. I have to deal with them first. You're doing what you think is right. I get it. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> we are not. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham. They may not have gone far. They should be there. Not for the moment. Means I have time to see what they've been up to. Now just be careful. We don't want any surprises. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. The officer that was taken from the construction site. 
shot in the chest. Oh, how terrible. There's something else. He was shot dead center, twice, executed. I suppose they no longer had need of a hostage. This man's veins, they look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only there's so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27-minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station, manufacturing the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. You two! Get these mixed! Load it onto the train! This way. Their leader is here. With Catwoman. She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. She plays whatever side meets her needs. Currently, her needs seem to be focused on keeping all nine of her lives. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. Death might be preferable. 
I surrender. Take me instead, and let her go. Now screw this. I'm not that sort of damsel. Train's ready! Come out! thing is, they don't even see the smoke. The people of Gotham are stronger than you think. They won't let this city fall into chaos. You'd be surprised. Fear can be incredibly persuasive. Go on, liars. <laughs> Pass out on me. Come on, bats. <laughs> Should have gone after. Uh, shut up. Yeah. I'm gonna get you somewhere safe. Just stay with me. Stay here, okay? Just don't move.
Thank you, Selena. Don't thank me yet. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, uh, what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would've killed you. It's not that bad. I've been through worse. Funny. Any worse, and you'd be sent home in a body bag. Very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. I feel like I owe you anyway. That's twice now. You just keep adding things to my list, don't you? Selena. I told you I don't like owing people. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader. I had a plan. Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. I was there, tracking the children of Arkham. I had no idea you'd be there. Must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. Why even stay in Gotham? You could just leave. Trying to get rid of me? <laughs> Come on. Tired of starting over, I guess. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Yeah, well, you've got most of Gotham behind you on that. Well, not most. Maybe half. Just trying to be optimistic. <laughs> Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something just beneath the surface. I'm starting to see that for myself. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world and won't let anyone else see. I don't have any secrets from you. You know, I have heard that a thousand times. But you might be the first to actually mean it. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. That's not all you are. I think that's just what you want people to believe. You put a lot of faith in someone who doesn't deserve it. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but... I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then so you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. But it never amounts to anything, really. I think the place has charm. <laughs> What's charming about it? The leak in the ceiling or the dirty underwear on the floor? It's not what I meant. <sighs> I was hoping for something more than that.
I'll make it up to you. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? Let me help you. Mm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? Hey there. I'm starving. <sighs> yeah, me too. Great. Go make me something while you're at it. I think there might be bagels in the fridge. Would definitely check expiration dates on anything. Before you think about putting it in your mouth. Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... if you were... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. I really like her. I'm sorry, are you smiling? You can't tell if I'm smiling. I know you, sir. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. I trust her, Alfred. That's all I need to know. If you're sure, at the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. Pretty strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. We could use something like this. There you are. Uh, I hope she didn't break anything. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. She's got the essentials. Ah. Harvey. Hey, I, uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Seriously? What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I just came by to check on Selena. 
What, with your pants off? Back off, Harvey. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here. God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. None of it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? I shouldn't have come. None of this is about you, Harvey. It's... I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. This had nothing to do with you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. Are you ready to die on that altar? Even he sees the truth in it. I'm only gonna ask one more time. I'm not going anywhere! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This... This is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it! No! No! Oh god, this is what you wanted to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! Harvey... Alright, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it! Am I? Yes. You are. This isn't you. Just calm down! <laughs> Shut up! Jesus, Harvey. Of course. Gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it. One way or another. <sighs> How about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey. Bruce. No, I don't want to hurt you. This isn't. They turned their backs on you. Harvey, put the knife down. <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. <sighs> Have you lost your mind? No. <sighs> Harvey! You need <sighs> to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Come on, Harvey, that's enough. Oh, God. Please. I don't want to be alone, Bruce. Please, not with him. I can't. Oh, God, I can't listen to him. You're not alone. We're right here. Okay? Yeah, I am. I am. I am. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. He's my friend, Selina. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> this 
so much for this place. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. That's what I get for wishful thinking. Yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here. And I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, that means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. I need to warn everybody about the children of Arkham. They have big plans for Gotham. To do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh... We've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. This is what is best for Gotham. I haven't had a say in any of this, and you expect me to cooperate? I won't do it. This is about more than just your ego, Bruce. It's in everyone's best interest for you to gracefully step down. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding in to save the day. Oh, don't worry, Oz. I'll make sure you remember every moment. Meaning? That's enough, both of you. Dick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny and we've always how everything I said to you in the park has come true? Me and taking everything that's yours, and that's not even a punchline. Oh no, dear, not even close. No one's going to follow you around and take pictures now. It'd almost be sad if you were so bloody handsome. You're just a pawn, Oswald. And everyone knows that pawns are meant to be and sacrificed. And uh, perhaps. But at least I, I like get the joy of watching your shocking and surprising descent first. This Wayne. is just a first we step towards Wayne. making things right. Condemned Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, like Cobblepot Medical, and, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one needs to hear. What the Waynes built would not have been possible without the Cobblepots, Oswald. I suppose you deserve it as much as I do. Bloody right I do. Glad you're coming around to my way of thinking. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how Old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? 
I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. Aren't you, Bruce? I know you're lying, Oswald. You don't know anything. I wouldn't lie about this, I promise. Story's too good for that. Buzz it yourself. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> I'm stepping down from my position as CEO of Wayne Enterprises, but I am not doing so voluntarily. The board of Wayne Enterprises has voted me out at a meeting I was not invited to attend. I was horrified to learn of my father's corruption. I am ashamed of his actions and would like to apologize to Gotham for the pain he has caused so many of you. I'm sorry. That's it, mate. Unfortunately, the board is more concerned with good PR than they are with actual solutions. They don't care about making things right. They only care about what looks good. What are you doing? Thinks he's being cute, is what he's doing. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, he is the press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. It I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. It's not an easy thing, seeing something you've come to have as part of your identity. Dropped your pen. That's not... I should know. I'm sure some of you remember the form of beauty of Coddle... You feel that? That's a drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. How could you? Retribution, Bruce. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin? Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Way. <sighs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. Justice. After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Batman, the children of Arkham, the Penguin. Doesn't Gotham already have enough deranged criminals terrorizing its streets? I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? 